Hello everyone, my name is Oquandia and I'm the sales engineer at Electronique. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about working with a closed or blocked RDP window. So if you were to go onto our help center and find the article, which will be working with a closed or blocked RDP window, you can just start by typing you can type RDP and it'll pull up the options for you for all of the articles regarding RDP. And the one that we need to find interest in today is working with a closed or blocked RDP window. Now, inside of this article, you'll find two different ways in which you're able to execute a bot behind a closed or blocked RDP window. If you want to go with the first option, you'll be able to use different methods to identify the machine type. As you can see here, you're using symbols to represent the developer's machine, the target machine, and also the buffer machine, and identifying them by M and then the number. Now, the second method is what I'll be showing in this video today, which is executing a bot by using a bat file. Now, in this case, you would need to create a bat file with this specific context inside of it. I already have my bat file set up, in which we can see here. This would need to be set up inside of the remote desktop system. As you can see, again, my batch file. It will give me an error message stating that my current session is ended because there was a login from another user. Meanwhile, the RDP system will be running in the background. Now for the workflow that I want to process today, I'm going to want the bot to run and open an application, which is the notepad, and let me know that the workflow executed successfully. This workflow will populate on the remote desktop. The way I get this information into the orchestrator, which is a needed key piece, is to go ahead and upload this workflow into the orchestrator after saving it, and you'll be able to publish that into the orchestrator. And if I were to open up the orchestrator here, you'll be able to see that I have that specific workflow as my RDP test. So let's go ahead now and start my closed remote session and then run my workflow. As we can see here, this is the bot runner that's inside of my W365 machine. And it can let you know that there is a bot ready, which is the W365 machine. So let's go ahead into the virtual machine I'm going to run my batch file. You would run this file as administrator. Accept the changes. And you would now get a error saying that you've been disconnected because another connection was made to the remote computer. You can go ahead and hit OK. Now I'll go ahead and choose that bot runner and I'll run that workflow. Now, as we can see, this is taking place on our W365 virtual machine. Now, if I were to go back into my virtual machine and we should see the notepad with the execution successful message. And as we can see the workflow executed successfully. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on working with closed and unactive remote desktops. And remember, happy automation with Electronique. Thank you.